Hey, we're beard bros. I'd say double into my beard, but yours is not big <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 100th episode. You see why I don't come on here no more? <laughs> welcome to the 100th episode of the Side Project Podcast. Oh, I gotta turn my levels up, man. Just, just my headphones. Just my headphones. Can't hear myself. There we go. Yes. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, man, dude, it's a very special episode. A hundred episodes, man. Lots of fun. Yes. We have a guest. I know yes. I'm a guest, but we have a guest for the guest. Yeah. <laughs> to we the have, other we guests. guests on top of guests. We're, we're multiversing here. guests here. Actually, it wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a multiverse, no. but we're just gonna say that. That'd be like a singularity. Because it sounds good. <laughs> we're singularity in it up. We're, we're, we just we got our boy Roger here with us today. Yo, what a do? <laughs> Which, by the way, if you don't know, that's why I, I you know, I'm like dyslexic back. And shit. Um, yeah. So we have the zero cool uh, pin yes. that he created in collaboration with my brother. I'm holding it upside down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're all backwards. We're backwards. So the episode, today. man. We're just having fun here well, today, I, I, dude. It's, it's basically a play on Sword in the Stone. You know, yeah. so it's Sword in the Hat, Excalibur. Um, the design is off your brother, who yep. was awesome to draw for me. Yep. Um, but I kind of came up with the concept, and I had your brother basically just draw up something for me, and he came up with that awesome design, bro. And I'm not disappointed. I love it. Yeah, it looks good. If you guys want that, he's going to have a lot more pens as well um, as well as the uh, Sword in the Hat one. Yeah, and we're also to going to be doing a collaboration of sorts at some point in time. We haven't worked out all the logistics yet, but it's coming. It's going to be a whoa, collaboration whoa. probably between uh, Side Hello. Project, uh, Zero Cool, obviously. And then and then my brother may or may not design something. Needs, we may use a Side Project a previous design. Pen. Yeah, actually, that'd, that'd, be, be, that'd be another dope. good one, too. You guys that'd do a dope. collaboration. Juice yeah. Box, Zero mm-hmm. Cool collaboration. Uh, we actually with, with, you uh, already have all the juice boxes made. I actually want to say. Pre- premiered them here probably do like a 95 five split right that yeah makes sense. probably yeah that makes yeah, sense yeah because you you got such a giant following you're gonna oh, be giving oh, all his oh, <laughs> don't be telling people yeah, about yeah. Leg, though. speaking of my brother speaking of the hundredth episode all those good things <laughs> if you may you may or may not have noticed the sweater that i'm wearing is the beavis and butthead inspired side project chazzy and juice like i said beavis and butthead inspired designed hey, by my in, brother there in, will be tees and sweaters up on the side project merch store right now go over there right now to the side project merch store and you can get this chivas and juice head that's what i'm that's what i think i'm gonna call it <laughs> are you rubbing um, the nips i don't know no, yeah, I, I was, was trying, trying to, to rub get his hand right there i was like well, what are you uh, doing no, right i was there? actually gonna <laughs> say in, in editing he's gonna fix this because like my beard now needs to be oh, there oh yeah it needs to be and this he, is back in the day yeah this design yeah, was pre-made months ago and yeah not, not only not only a throwback uh, a play on the whole hoodie and tea as, as it's gonna be mm-hmm. available on but like as well as like my mustache my facial yeah, hair yeah it's know? a throwback to, to before he had the, the beard going yeah you got the beard back man but yes dude the chivas and I'm juice head that's what I may back. call it I don't the know chivas. yet I haven't figured it out chivas and juice head inspiration inspired by beavis and butthead that'll be up on the store right now and, as well uh, as the side project mugs as well as all the side project mugs and the Chaz Source Rex mug <laughs> um I didn't say it before when we were talking about Rogers, um, zero cool designs and stuff, you can go uh, follow him at on Instagram at zero underscore underscore cool underscore fitted. No, under, uh, underscore dot fitted. I know I fucked that all up. What uh, is it? Zero underscore cool dot fitted dot fitted. There you go. And then also zero cool dot big cartel dot com if you want to shop these pins and mm-hmm. be on the lookout for the collaboration that we're going to be doing as well. Dude, we've been playing all kinds of Halo, man. Halo oh, yeah, Infinite, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, I posted yeah. a thing about it to see what people uh, feel about it. And I actually posted really well. Everybody interacted with it awesome.ly Love that. Thank you guys so much. Because you know how Battlefield, right? Well, yeah, what do you, what are you playing on your, your PC? Battlefield post, huh? You on your uh, P- I've been playing it right now on my on my Xbox, oh, but yeah, I, I can also Xbox, play it on my yeah. PC, which I'm going to get to soon because I want to see uh, what I like you're more. You're playing on the one, aren't you? Keyboard and mouse, huh? You're playing on the one original one, huh? Yeah, dude. I still don't have. I mean, you can't get one. You know what I mean? Unless you're willing to spend like double to triple the amount you know what i mean yeah. we're having a conversation but juice is in beard world you can see it yeah. in his face dude he's like holy shit no 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 haven't no, been here uh, in a while so like yeah <laughs> <laughs> no I have we have like we, a beard fetish we have like been, for we, my own beard though <laughs> <laughs> we, we know you're about your fetishes julio yeah hey man hey man <laughs> we've been we've been playing it a lot actually and i do i want to throw up this clip real quick uh we were playing the other night me zane my, my brother's Nathaniel, who did the designs um 
who's on his way actually midway through this episode he may pop up may not pop up who knows but um we were playing the other night we we're playing halo infinite multiplayer we we're playing big team battle <laughs> and juice was coming i'm gonna throw it up and juice was coming he was like yo get in get in we were like a warthog or something actually i don't think it was a warthog it was a or was it a warthog it was a warthog because i was trying to get you to jump in the back uh for the for i think the it was turret. a littler one. Oh, was it the turret yeah, yeah. okay then it probably was a warthog either way you'll see in the clip that i'm gonna throw up right now and uh check this out I purposely did that, not knowing that it was like a Halo vehicular manslaughter. Yeah, I had like no with your own idea. I didn't know you could like, I mean, it makes sense if you really think about it, if they're trying yeah, to be a little bit more realistic. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I just thought like friendly fire, not you're not shooting rocks, each other. Like, like shooting plasma ray yeah, guns you can that don't jump exist, Fucking right? from all kinds of heights, you're perfectly yeah. fine. But as one of your teammates gets in a car, runs you over, you're fucked. Yeah, but like I just thought Master that was... Master uh, Chief's kneecaps must be made yeah, of I know, like, right? something crazy. But I mean, I've been having a great time. At first, I was kind of like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't really feeling it too much. I mean, it's not that I wasn't feeling it, it was but I just kind of thought, too, yeah, it was real first. buggy right at first, a little here and there, mm -hmm. but I just kind of felt like, oh, it felt like every other Halo game, there's nothing special, but then as I started playing it more and more, I got a lot more into so it. So online's only beta right now? It's a, it's considered a beta still, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's still the game is out already, right? It's out, yeah, and it's free to yeah. play. You don't have to pay for anything. The only thing you're gonna have to pay for is, is in multiplayer is the battle pass and all which, that. Which I am gonna or buy that. Hopefully, the oh, oh, I might, hopefully I might today. be a little lost on this. Right. So this is not the actual game game that's supposed to come out, right? Like the actual. It's big... a, it's a part of it. It's the multiplayer portion of oh, okay, it. Okay. Yeah. And then so the more campaign like, uh, comes uh, out. Battlegrounds. Have, no, not battlegrounds. Um, like the big card games that they have right now. Yeah, is where it's just multiplayer. Okay. Yeah, it's that portion of it, and that's free to play. But if you want to unlock things and have more customization options, then you got to pay for the battle pass and stuff, yeah. which is only eight ninety nine. Damn, I'm so lost. And like <laughs> I haven't played Halo in so long, dude. It's or just fun, dude. Well, I know Gaming older people with going back. Is, yeah, it gets like it's trying little, to get a console, yeah, and then like yeah. I don't have nothing to play on. I only play the Switch, and it's just like man, I feel I like, like I'm missing now, dude. Uh, sip right I know. I noticed that. I'm paying attention to you though, but I noticed the simultaneous sip. Um, no, I feel you, man. But you, if you don't have an Xbox though, I don't have nothing. Just besides well, the just switch, the switch right, now. right? Like yeah. not even a PC, so just wait anyway. I would say wait I until you wait, can but, man, but the way they're talking a, about uh, the Series systems. X. Or PS5. The shortage of, of the chips and everything. No, there's it's not like, a shortage. There's not a shortage. There's a shortage because no, even Porsche is not able to come out with cars because of shortage seen, of chips. I've been hearing it's, that. Though. It's not. It's not. A, it's not fake. It's video, real. Right? If you would have seen, yeah, I believe what video. If I can find this video, I'll You're put it You're talking about up. the uh, Walmart one, right? Yes. There's and they show like a big ones. ass. Bro, that could have been inventory that they're just preparing for right now. You got to remember, Black Friday is coming up. They're not gonna have. Yeah, bro. Like they're not gonna have. Nothing already available for that day. So if they did stock up, you guys acting like they stocked up overnight. I'm pretty sure Walmart stocked up over months. Did you guys see the video of the lady? I saw it this morning, so I don't know if you guys saw it, uh, where the lady was coming out of Best Buy and she was like, "If you're here for a console, we have none. Yeah. No PS5s, no Series Xs, no Nintendo Switches." It's sad, man. Just took off. <laughs> no, no, but like, well, fuck this. It's really left. sad that we, <laughs> as gamers, no more like someone like me who just wants to like game it up. I right. can't. I can't. I know, but you know, sucks, you know we're seeing this across multiple markets. That's the thing. Even with hats, uh, even with Every, shoes, it, yeah, it's yeah, like everything it's, right now. Production yeah. is just behind, man. Yeah, it's not even so much. A, it, yes, okay. No, yeah. you got I, bots I, I, and no. people buying yeah, everything. That's what I was gonna, the resellers. That's, that's scalpers, what I was gonna dude. get to. It's that's, the scalpers and the bots, dude. That's what I was gonna get to. Um, before you guys like rudely interrupted me. Totally. Uh, so yeah, no. Basically, <sighs> we're seeing this all over uh, with everything. Like you can't get a hold of 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 items that you want, yeah. games, systems, anything. Yeah, it sucks. It kind of messed up the little market. And it like for people like you who don't even have an Xbox to actually play with this yeah. right now, it's like, like I I really want yeah. the PS5 still because I've said it a million times mm -hmm. and I won't drag it on. But there's just so many games that I want to play, not even Same. just PS5 ones, but PS4 ones too. That yeah, I'm God I'm more to dude. PS5. Yeah, I'll be God honest. War, yes, dude. that's the only reason why I love God of War. Yeah, it's a good game. I really want to, man. I want to play the Spider-Man games like crazy, dude. It's making my nuts itch. But I'm, I'm <laughs> fucking tired of this shit, man. I'm furious and I'm done. Just like Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds, dude. You heard about this, man? Ryan Reynolds is reportedly furious and done with Disney and this is somewhat uh, said to be old news but we but never got to discuss it so to it's new news to me in a sense too because uh, as we all know Disney ate up Fox like a hot dinner plate or maybe a hot dinner date uh, uh, acquired the giant studio and all of its properties doing what they please with each property and whatnot. and one yeah. of those proper proper properties is a major one in the Marvel world a major one in general and a major one for Ryan Reynolds and that's 
Deadpool. Uh, it was everyone's worry, such as Juices, and he called it, by the way. We'll get into it. It was everyone's worry that when Disney acquired Fox, that Deadpool would be shelved because of all of its content. And we know that the House of Mouse likes to keep things all kitty witty, and the Merc with the Mouth is anything but. Uh, despite that, many times executives at Disney have stated that they wouldn't shelve Deadpool. Remember, we talked about that a million times. They wouldn't miss with its content. We talked about that a million times. And it would remain rated R, which we talked about that a million times. Mm -hmm. With all that being said, we haven't got much uh, news on anything Deadpool 3. And now it's being reported via Geek Tyrant that Ryan Reynolds is so upset with his new partnership with Disney that he's even gone as far as moving his production company, Maximum Effort, off the studio's lot. It's being said that Ryan's issues are not with Marvel and not with head honcho Kevin Feige either, yeah. but rather with Disney's, quote, censorship bullshit. And apparently, Ryan and Kevin are on very good terms and that Ryan is very happy with the ideas that Feige has put on the table, but the problems lie within Disney themselves. What do you sounds, guys think? That sounds a lot like Feige's trying to... Make trying to happen? trying to make it happen and trying to keep him happy, but he also knows he has to toe the line. And also, he has to keep like Disney I said, happy too. Like I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Toe yeah. the line. Yeah, like yeah. I've said millions of times on that episode, uh, uh, on that, multiple uh, episodes. multiple episodes, you actually I, would, I you would disagree with me a lot. I, I called it. Yeah, well, I knew I was right. You know, that's what it was. <laughs> I knew I was right. Um, but you, no, but you I, would. We would, uh, we for, would not argue about it. But we for would a number of things, though, right? And like every single little thing that came out as the news was coming out, then I called it when they said, "Oh, we're not going to shelve Deadpool." Okay, we haven't seen shit from. Deadpool, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. there's one. We also got, uh, oh, they're not going to censor it. They're going to leave it rated R. And, mm -hmm. and 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 you were actually telling me, I have faith because have of faith. Ryan Reynolds yep. and, and, and because Feige of Kevin Feige. Feige says this, he's yeah. going to do this, that. But the one thing I have always said from the beginning, it is Disney. They're it's not going unless they create like a rated R adult section. They're not going to uh, let which Deadpool I, have full reigns. Right, they're not. right. Which so I feel like. Can I say something dead. about that? What you just yeah. said, the rated R section. I feel like we did an episode. I think maybe one or two episodes where we talked about how what Disney they could need to create a market should for that, yeah. do for like their rated R content because not even just like Disney stuff or what they've got going on now, but since they acquired Fox and all these other properties, they've got all kinds of movies that are just sitting on the back burner because they don't want to put even, them on any, any streaming that, services though, like, because now they own it you know what's also going to suck too though is that moving forward because I, I and there's going to be reboots and reshoots and and recasting and all this other stuff for all this uh for all the properties they just acquired i know i know at some yeah, point they're it probably is going to end up yeah remaking they're gonna, things they're, they're gonna dumb it down huh? they're gonna dumb it down bad disney in general is in my opinion kind of been doing awful with with certain with, yeah. with everything with yeah, their, with their I, I parks kinda, yeah I kind of agree with their yeah. movie studios mm -hmm. I kind um, of agree. this is someone who's a, a Disney fan bro so I kind of and then you look at Bob like the whole talk behind Bob not Bob Arger what's that one uh, Bob Chapek is that his name uh, Chapek I think Chapek Chapek something whatever the fuck Chepec. is that Bob Chapek chapstick yeah Bob, Bob Chapek chapstick yeah, yeah. Chapstick. yeah Bob we'll come chapstick from because yeah. that fucker doesn't He's got a great line of chapsticks. yeah there's been a lot of talk of how he's just been kind of ruining the company and like even if you go to the parks bro like. Going to the parks now, you're not getting what you're paying for, in my opinion. Oh. I mean, you like, never really they were. Did, they did like going back to prices, Deadpool, though. I kind of had a feeling too what they were gonna do. That Disney right now, like, like I'm just tired of what of what they're kind of putting out. It's I, just nothing new, nothing innovated. It's obvious that Disney to an extent. It's obvious Everything that just Disney's gonna shit censor shit. They have already. Like, look at all the movies they recently put out. What's um. What's the reason? Uh, Jungle Jungle Cruise. That shit was Jungle Cruise. It was I didn't, I first I didn't time I saw it, it was on uh, Disney Plus. It was okay. Did you yeah, watch no, it? I, I could I could watch Rock do like ten other films. <laughs> <that are laughs> but it wasn't. You watch Rock in any movie and it's a jungle. It's it, the same it was, thing. It wasn't that great. It felt like a <laughs> I know. I said of, in like, the comments, <laughs> leave that man alone. He likes his jungle. But it's fucking cars, true, man. But, like, but no, I just feel yeah. like Disney right now in general, just they're just all over the place. Even like the whole Disney. The plus thing, like their whole announcements, or what they released of like the Disney Plus announcement, it was very underwhelming. That's coming. Did you guys know? Since we're talking about that, D Plus, just real quick, slide a little fact in. Uh, I think it's like sixty-eight percent of people who have D Plus are just using it to watch Marvel properties and probably Star Wars. I, I had this. Like, oh, no, like that's a that's an actual like. Fact. fact, the thing came out. I don't know if it's sixty or sixty-eight. It's somewhere Have you seen in the Hawkeye realm of the 60%. I mean, I'm probably derailing you guys' this podcast here, but <laughs> no, I haven't. Dude, I, I'm not I'm, have no interest in watching as that whatsoever. Of this recording, I'm so behind. I need to, be, especially because No Way Home's coming out soon, like in a couple yeah, weeks. Dude. So yeah, right now, I need to, to go watch Shang Chi. Mm -hmm. I need to, I I need to watch I Venom, which I, which I already pretty much know everything about Venom. Uh -huh. 
unfortunately. Thank you for the spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, it is what it is. It's oh. kind of our fault by now if we haven't watched it, though. It's, well, it's, it's too not my long. Fault. You know I mean? watched it. Oh, it's did you watch it? Movie night, nice, though, man, as boys. We need to get, we I need get to, back on that. I need that. to catch up on Shang-Chi. I need to catch up on uh, Venom. And I need to um, Eternals. Eternals. Eternals, I'm uh, away. I'm Eternals. not going to spend my money in theaters. And then I'll start I'll start Hawkeye as well and then be prepared for when I go watch. You know watch, what, though? Um, that sucks, though, because no like, I'm already hearing... Uh, I always forget his name on on Instagram. I always say Scoop Magoo. Uh, oh yeah, the boys Scoop, are, yeah. The, the boys over Scoop from, from Fal- uh, Falcon Pod. Falcon yeah, Podcast, shout out to Falcon Pod. Yeah, uh, made a story earlier today, and that kind of worried me because I saw that. About he Hawkeye? said, "Yeah." So mm-hmm. he said that the everything's cool, but the writing could be better. That it's just like real lazy, that, yeah. real lazy and cheesy. Yeah. I don't want to talk. Well, that's me, Hawkeye. Though. You knew they were Yeah, be it's that not going to be like everything else. No, I don't think. I'm not expecting like nothing crazy. Yeah. But I heard being, it's pretty comic accurate though. Being though, being though that. That that for me was such an important character. I love this character and everything that he brought in. Huh? Hawkeye is a B-list character. I I kind of agree. I'm not gonna lie. So we're my, we're cutting him off the show, right? <laughs> in my personal opinion, I kind of agree. But I'm no, hearing no, no. I'm hearing that it's pretty comic accurate. Somebody mm. did a side by side of like shots from the series mm. with comic strips, and like a lot of it was well, accurate to the comic. In comics. my opinion, I don't think Hawkeye deserved the show. Like a B-list character, you could have. I think we got to see what exactly that, is going to happen within the show. You could have spent that money on another character who probably offers a little bit more, or even build the MCU. Like I was, we were talking about like yeah. the whole, like kind of rehashing a lot of shit. Like I'm kind of tired of seeing the same old thing from Marvel. I kind of want to see something new. Mm-hmm. And I, Hawkeye I both, is just like, I'm. What do you have to offer me with Hawkeye? I, I agree Arrows? and disagree. I both agree we and had, disagree. I feel well, okay, what's the difference between this show and Arrow that W WC had? They're uh, both I fucking guys be, with arrows. I get it, but I think it's going to be different. You know what I think this is? Because it ties it's into definitely Marvel. definitely about The whole Hawkeye. big MC universe. That's what... Exactly. That's going back to my point. Tie, I was saying over everything ties in. Boys, like, I'm kind of tired of like that next thing, the next movie. Oh, watch this show if you want to find out something. Like sometimes... Yeah, I'm I like, want a climax. I'm I like kind of want four things behind. You know, like, uh, it, that, but that's going back. What, like, what you have to is, watch so much shit nowadays. I think what it is with Hawkeye, though, is it's it's setting up the end of Hawkeye and the beginning of... What's well, her name? Kate Bishop? Well, what is does this set up in name? the timeline? Do you know? Which is going to be the new Avengers. I believe it's two years after Endgame, Hawkeye. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, because his yeah. daughter's a teenager, yeah. right? She's And it's setting up a lot more, which, by the way, since we're talking about it, I wasn't going to talk about it because I mean, it could possibly drag on and you know, look how yeah. where we're at. But uh, apparently, uh, we, we reported on a long time ago, we know Kingpin is going to be in Hawkeye, so I'm excited mm. from that. And it's it's Vincent D... Uh, I always forget how to say his last uh, name. Defoe. I'm, I'm mixing D, up D, or something? Deforno? Yeah. I always forget how to say his last name. Deforno. But it's from Daredevil. Yeah. From Daredevil. The same guy? And, yeah. And But apparently now it's reported that he's going to be the Kingpin from the comics via CGI. Oh, he's nice. going to be fucking huge, dude. Nice. It's a different version. It's the same actor, but a different version. So they're going to CGI be him, but have him shit. do voiceover. Kind of basically what the guy- I think he's actually guy... there in a fat suit, okay. and, then it's, and then it's also shit, CGI. Yeah. I was thinking more like Thanos. Like, what's that one actor's name Josh again? Brolin? Yeah, Josh yeah. Brolin? More something like that. Where he was just there, but in CGI. Yeah, I yeah. mean, in the little but CGI. The voice. Yeah, and... and then he was like a Balchinian too, apparently. <laughs> Balchinian. <laughs> apparently, it's going to be uh, Vincent in a fat suit. And then also CGI'd later for more effect. Yeah, yeah. I'm sidetracking you guys. Yeah, all my over bad. Anyway, hey, but, it's called a side project but, podcast for a reason. <laughs> so sometimes things get sidetracked. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I mean, it's obvious Disney's going to want to censor and tone down Deadpool. I mean, that's obvious. It I sucks. agree on that. I agree with that. Everything that you said back then, like it's obvious they're going to want to. But I will say that uh, I'll stick to what I said back then that I thought at least back then that kevin feige would be able to convince them and ryan would be able to convince them and things would be all right but i guess i was wrong because seemingly seems, they're having too though, many issues honestly though it seems we don't or, even have anything nothing about it yeah but it seems like though kevin feige is kind of trying to play the middle ground between him uh, between disney and and ryan and kind of try to you know calm yeah. them down that's why they clarified that uh geek, you said geek strong uh geek uh tyrant i believe geek is, tyrant. is where this source is from uh the whole point is, glad you guys cleared that up, that it's not an issue yeah. between Feige and, and Reynolds, because then that would be a bigger issue. Yeah, that geek would be, tyrant. That yeah. would be more of a concern. Right, right. Because um, you don't want to clash with Feige. Feige's love by everybody, so, dude. Yeah, he seems, yeah. I felt that from the beginning, and I said it the minute it went over to Disney, yeah. I was like, this shit is going to suck. Well, Something, you were, yeah, anything you were right, Disney dude. touches yeah. nowadays. Yeah, you were right. I mean, how I, I'm curious. I really want to see this, though. I'm curious on how even Deadpool would come into the MCU because he breaks the fourth wall so much. You know what I mean? So there's like yeah. so much well, room. I think for now like, it works more than ever because of the whole multiverse. Exactly. Yeah, the multiverse madness. And so he can make so many, so many jokes, though, and stuff like about the multiverse, about 
And How he doesn't he's... need to cuss if he's like if he's brought into the Marvel universe like actual MC movies and not stand alone. That could be the reason. He doesn't for need it. to cuss in those movies, but I feel like in Still... his own movies. Mm-hmm. He, needs he does to need to have his right. little okay. Bam, actually, content. dude, that's a good point, dude. He in his own Deadpool. movies, he needs to be able to be who he's yeah. been from the Fox Fox era. But if he appears in any MCU movies, they could bleep it out, censor it, make him say something not, different. Not, not even though he you can know make what, jokes though? about even, it. Though. Even even just saying that though, like, um, I feel I feel that it would still work. It, it would still work, and and he could still bring that comedic touch to it, and and be like, oh shit, you're fighting this guy or this or that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it'd be it'd be hilarious. And it, I, know and I was it, just trying to reiterate. And that. it could it could be funny though because like they could censor it, and he can make jokes about it. Like what what's going on? Because he yeah. breaks the fourth wall. Yeah, exactly. And then you'd be like, oh, that's right, Disney. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he can make jokes about it. Well, that would, one thing that they sense. did, right? The one with that one guy, the rock dude. What's his name? Who? When Deadpool and that one, uh, when you chase your dreams. And you, blah, blah, oh, blah, oh and the you, Christmas Christmas thing they did? Was it the Christmas? Thing? I don't know what I it was. Know. It was a Is Deadpool. That what you're talking about? No, no, no. It was like a little preview with Deadpool and that one guy from. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like Thor. This. I think was it Thor? His, his friend, the one he plays games with, that rock dude, that Australian Korg. 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 Yeah. Korg. They did that, but it was just like a little. But I mean, yeah, they could do something like that. Like, feature, like you're, you're still yeah. able to play off. His yeah. little smart ass little right, remarks, right, yeah. but not without him having to, a cuss. Right? Yeah, yeah. like uh, yeah. it could but still I, work. I agree with you though. That could be done in when he's in other people's movies. Yeah, but when he's that in his own movie, that, yeah. it needs to be a Deadpool movie though. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Which speaking of Fox and everything, we spoke about uh, stuff in this realm before and rumors in this realm before. But um, as rumors claim to get more definitive, they're saying that some Fox characters are definitely going to debut in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and those list of characters that we could be seeing are rumored to be and not all of them are fox characters by the way but what movie uh doctor strange in the multiverse of madness it's rumored now to be um having mr fantastic appear makes sense because of the building exactly which Mm -hmm. i want to get to that professor x makes sense x-men you know uh wolverine (laughs) said to be hugh jackman coming back but hold on and then there's one more uh namor the submariner um, the cosplayer, I heard a lot about by the way, <laughs> yeah, the right? cosplayer. Um, trying to be name more in for a while now. For a, yeah. like, for a long time. This comes from source a uh, giant fucking robot. Actually, no, I'm sorry, that's giant freaking robot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Freaking robot. My bad. Sounds better. Fuck. Just a little, I think little Namor freaky might little be even, robot bot. What? I heard he might be like the main villain too. Ah, I was gonna get to that. Yes. Uh, he, giant freaking robot states that Mr. Fantastic, Professor X, and Namor have all been spotted on set of the upcoming film, but mm. yet he was unable to share any further details, including the casting of the characters who he claims to have been seeing on set. And this is just what I, so take this with a big grain of salt, because I feel like if you saw them on set, you would know who the actors are that are playing them. Would you not? Uh, either that, unless they just haven't told him, unless he's just, uh, do you get what I'm saying though? Yeah. Like, it, 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 it just it they, makes, they should have busted a Defoe and walked around with like a cloak the whole set could be doing stuff like that but he can tell by the suits or something yeah. you know but let's say that any of this information is true um firstly which is what you said mm-hmm. I thought we were rumored to see Namor in Black Panther 2 that's what I heard too yeah. that's what it made because sense, it would have right? made more sense with the yeah. whole mythical you know Wakanda right. and they exactly. kind of, and it was supposed to be kind of like Nate because Namor's an anti they're by kind the way. of playing off yeah you might not agree but they're kind of stealing a little bit from DC in this area when it comes to so? like yeah I mean playing off the whole um Wonder Woman at, you know, a scary. What is it called? A, whatever that freaking Am- Amazonian, whatever it's uh, called, Themyscira. Themyscira, yeah. and then the whole Atlantis. Atlanteans, because yeah, right, yeah, yeah. You know, the war but between I mean, Atlantis. It happens in the comics yeah, 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 too. Yeah, yeah. You know but, what I mean? But it's but just that DC did it first Namor on screen ish. You know before, what I mean? Um, Aquaman. Yeah, which speaking of that, and in, in we're not talking about it today, but because you brought it up, in the next Wonder Woman film, it's uh, supposedly going to be, I, I believe that's part Thank of the, the storyline right there. Mm. Aquaman's going to be in Wonder Woman, and it's supposed to be the Atlanteans versus the. What Amazonians? Amazonians, yeah. Amazon. Yeah. But and that's apparently what's supposed to happen in Black Panther 2 is the Wakandans versus the Atlanteans. Which would, I, I would have dig yeah. that, bro. That would have been pretty I'm, freaking I'm actually cool. curious to see how Marvel handles like Ad- Atlantis and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm curious to see how what? they do it. Maybe it could just be like they're setting him up and then he kind of becomes a bigger threat. That's exactly what I was going to say. Right? You know, maybe I maybe see that. he appears in Doctor Strange I, in the movie. No, I think he's going to be a big part. I'm kind of curious Str- to see how, uh, what's her name? Shuri? Because she makes all the technology for them yeah. and everything. I'm kind of curious to see what she's going to come gonna up with. She's going to be the next, 
I think Black Panther. Yeah, I, you think so? I, I think so. I think that's what they it might would make be sense to take leading the throne, up to, though, be, right? Because yeah. anybody else in line. Well, some wouldn't... rumors are saying it's going to be Mbaka or whatever, if that's how you say it. Mbaka. Oh, Mbaka. is that homeboy with the? Uh, <laughs> and the he's got to stay like in the... the caves and shit. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, he's he's up up, and they come. They ask him for help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that guy. I wouldn't but, mind seeing Shuri though, because Shuri, uh, for one, is a very smart, intelligent person. Right. Very smart, very good with technology. Clearly, she's yeah. in charge of like the Wakanda's yeah. technology. And I would have loved to see her interact vibranium. with Tony. I Tony li- Stark. I think no, she's better off like that now as Black Panther. Interact with uh, Tom Holland, being that they're so young. I'm sure that'll happen at some point. Yeah, Maybe yeah. she doesn't look that young though. Eh. Tom Holland still looks like a little. High school. Well, let's kid. say Peter Parker. P- Peter, Tom Parker. Okay, Peter yeah. Parker. Peter Parker. Peter Parker. So in this yeah. universe, still a little. He's kid. still young. Yeah, I think she's yeah. older than. Yeah, him. she's yeah. at least. But I get what you're saying. They're probably around the same age. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah. So supposedly he's supposed to be in Black Black, Black Panther two, and I believe that Namor, if he's in Multiverse of Madness, that he's going to play a role in Multiverse and Madness, but he's not going to be a prominent role, and that will later set him up for Black Panther two. That's my guess. Kind of like, not not so much a cameo, but like a longer cameo. Yeah, 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 yeah. A longer. Yeah. Say Cam, I think he's gonna be a part. He's of gonna the be movie. a part of it, but, but I, think I think they're just setting him up to be like a bigger threat or yeah, something. He's like, an might anti-hero, happen. so yeah. yeah. Who knows? But something else to be aware of here is in the comics, these characters minus Logan uh, make up the Illuminati. And the Illuminati are a secret society and group of superheroes that join forces and work behind the scenes. They were first established in their first published appearance of uh, New Avengers number seven in 2005, with their history being discussed in the special New Avengers Illuminati issue in 2006. And the group was revealed to have been formed after the Kree Scroll War. Which already did that already occur in the MCU? Isn't that what Captain Marvel was like? All right, I, I might start some of it going off again. This is going back to that whole just too much shit going on with Marvel. <laughs> might be even me. Like I'm a big X Men fan. Confused? Was that a lot of no, information? No, no, not even that. I'm a big X Men fan. I do not want to see my X Men come into the Marvel universe like this. And some well, Illuminati. Don't know exactly how yeah, yet. yeah, but I'm saying yeah. like a Sum- uh, Illuminati a shit. Like, come on, bring X Men in. Properly, they deserve that though. shit. I have a couple theories. God damn it. I'll, I'll get to like, that. They deserve it, MCU. Like, come on, I get what like, you're saying. None I'll of this crappy that. bullshit. I'll man. get to that. That's coming up in a second. I'll get to that. But since we talk about the Illuminati first, uh, in the comics, the list of members who have been a part of the Illuminati it's pretty long, but I feel like it's worth worth saying. Uh, the roster includes Amadeus Cho, the the Hulk, uh, Beast, Black Bolt, Black Bolt, the Scroll version, uh, Black Panther, Captain America, Captain Britain, Doc Green, Doctor Strange. Iron Man, Medusa, Mr. Fantastic, Namor, Professor X, and Yellow Jacket, which I thought was Yellow Jacket is a part of the Illuminati? Like that's strange. Isn't what is Yellow Jacket? Isn't Yellow Jacket Ant Man villain? Yeah. I, mean, I never heard of Yellow Jacket. No, it's the Ant Man villain. Yeah, he's the Ant Man villain. From the, In the first, first movie? One. In right? The first one, that's yeah. Yellow Jacket, oh, right? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. No, wait. What is the second movie? <laughs> KKK. KKK. Every kiss begins uh, with me. <laughs> but uh, I'll admit, man, I don't know enough to dive too deep into the Illuminati. Um, I would definitely be stoked to see some new groups form and whatnot, but I personally don't see how or why uh, we're going to see the Illuminati form before we see the X Men or Fantastic Four. If that's happening i'm not saying that's happening there's no rumors that are saying that that is definitely happening but if these characters are appearing in doctor strange it's just something to note that some of the characters make up the illuminati so i don't know seeing the illuminati before the x-men or the fantastic four i'm not saying that that that's happening but it's a possibility that that could happen unless they're just going with um this first and forming the other groups later because not everything occurs exactly how the comics do you know what i mean or on another note Maybe characters such as X-Men and Fantastic Four have existed this entire time and we have just yet to see them on screen. But then it's like, what would the explanation be for like why they didn't appear for the Thanos battle? You know what I mean? Yeah, or any being other that, battles? That, being that, nah, I can understand. Even like the Ultron one was like a big... Yeah, that was a big battle. Yeah, yeah. You think that that's somebody would want to get in on, yeah, you know? I don't think there is no way they could bring it in unless it has to do with multiverse type That's shit. what I was going to say too. Unless another theory I have is unless it's an alternate I mean, universe they situation. Pull another Eternals. That's what I was. That's what I was thinking too. That it yeah, could have been exactly. like an alternate, alternate yeah. universe type of thing. Because he's right. The other, the, the other theory I just had, the previous one, that would be the same story as the Eternals. They yeah. were like, we couldn't meddle. You know what I mean? <laughs> we couldn't do it yet. You know what I mean? Like they couldn't yeah. say that with or X-Men like, what, and Fantastic what, Four. 
That'd be yeah. the same storyline. Yeah. So unless it's like an alternate universe situation yeah, where like, they've never done that before. Yeah. Where, where these characters exist elsewhere and there's versions of them speaking to strange in the multiverse of madness or something or other where in their universe, the Illuminati already exists. Mm -hmm. You know, and maybe in their universe, their respective groups already exist too. So the X Men already they're exist. Like, they're not in the Fantastic shadows, Four already exist. Is this MC universe where all the characters that we grew up with watching is it is it considered the main MCU MCU verse? Fuck, I don't know now. Or is it considered like the, I think, or maybe just be the main to us? That's what I'm saying. I think like, we gotta wait to see. Is more it like movies. the actual main main universe? I get what you're saying, mm -hmm. like, which would be like Earth. What would it be? Six one. In our yeah. universe, it is because <laughs> in our universe, it is. No, yeah. because in our like in the movies that we got in this MCU, yeah. we don't got the original Peter Parker. That mm. Tom Holland that we got. Well, we did that though. Peter. No, it's not Peter Parker. The Peter Parker we grew up like the regular Peter Parker from the comic books. Like if oh. it's a main universe, never had the help of Iron Man. Never had that technology. I get what you're saying. So like I feel like we've the got MCU a different version. that we've been watching. Isn't the main Okay I get what I, you're saying I, I, So I'm like, I know I'm, as this goes on I think we First of all One I think we gotta watch more movies yeah, yeah, To answer yeah. your question A little bit more Such as Spider-Man And then Doctor Multiverse Strange And all that madness, shit yeah. But I get what you're saying Are they ever going to explain If Which universe Is considered the main one Or yeah. are they just going to Continue saying variants And or Alternate universes And never really say Because anybody's in the comic book There's a main, 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 main universe That right? could be their way Out of Having to explain all that though is just yeah. say because maybe that's getting too different. intricate. You know what yeah. I mean? And they don't want to waste time made it on that. They made intricate as hell, man. I mean, they, <laughs> they did. did they did time travel yeah. already, bro. Like, if it doesn't get as confusing as hell as time travel, they maybe could do that. maybe that's how we get the Fantastic Four and the X Men though is through the multiverse. You know, well, that we're could gonna be a, have to like get I said, the maybe the Fantastic well, who do you think Four comes first. Fantastic Four, X Men. I feel Fantastic well, if Four. They're saying that Mr. Fantastic and Professor X are going to appear in Doctor Strange. Maybe they both already exist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, clearly they already exist. Now they're just going to cross I mean, different universes, though, because that's the whole... It all depends, though, too. Like, at what stage in their lives, respectively, like, age and everything, are we seeing Mr. Fantastic and Professor X? Are we seeing a younger Professor X where yeah. he's figure where they're just figuring out that mutants exist? Mm -hmm. And so he's going around and building the school? Like... What era? You know what I mean? There's so many possibilities. Like, there's literally endless possibilities. Yeah, just of, with, just with, uh, uh, or does they, or do they already with exist? With X Men alone, yeah. With or, X Men alone, there's just so much. Yeah. Depending and on then, what and time. then it gets even deeper. Are we pulling in any of these characters, like slash slash actors from Fox, or are, is this Ooh, a whole new Fox Professor era. X? Yeah, I believe they already said. The what's only his name? one that uh, I wouldn't mind if they were to like completely bring in a whole new cast would be Fantastic Four because like they never got. That I want them down. to one hundred percent bring in a new cast for Fantastic Four. Uh, Definitely don't bring any um, of the other characters um, for Fantastic um, Four. Um, what's the What's the two that we were that we were talking about? Um, John. Um, Damn it. Oh, I know what you're saying, but you got to say more so I can, I can get Blunt's, it. Emily Blunt's uh, husband. John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic. Emily Blunt but as Invisible Woman. About. Zac Efron as Human Torch. Nah, and yeah, I'm cool no, Zac Efron. No, no, no. I feel that he I can think play he that, can do it, bro. I feel nah, that he can I'm play that. Cool. He's too short. I think he's fine. Fuck, you got to get short people. Dude, Hugh Jackman was like 6 foot 42 yeah. and played Wolverine, who's like 5'1 in the comics. You know what I mean? Well, I, yeah. Um, so the opposite will work. Get your kneecaps, Zach. <laughs> no, but he's, for, for he's Roger big, to like he's, you. He's no, built, you but he's not like he's not like no. the Rock built. He's just he's he's. I can't think of no Rock. I, 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 I hate to say. Who would you say the thing though? Because I know my thing, but he's already Red Guardian and Black Widow, and it's what's his name. That would have been a perfect, popper from Stranger Things. I always forget a, his actual that name. That would have been a perfect fucking. Fit. He would have been a perfect thing, dude. Yeah, yeah. I would say they gotta play Hellboy. I don't think John Cena. He's too old. No, John Cena keeps trying to play um, too many different the original things, Hellboy? and nobody yeah. really gives a fuck about John Cena. Yeah, I think he's kind of funny though. But no, okay, so nah, I can't back, see John real, Cena as real quick. A thing. I don't see John Cena as a thing either, though. Yeah, to tie, yeah, to yeah. tie back to the Zac Efron thing, I think he could play it, and and it's not that that we should look at him because of the stuff they've done in the past and stuff like that. Like we know Adam Sandler's known for comedies. He could do some dramas. And he stuff could do some like dramas and he does really good. Uh, in my he, opinion. he does really good. Like yeah. rom-coms and shit like that. Uh, look, you know, we can say the same thing. Robert at, Pattinson, that's right? What gonna, yes. That's what I was going to say. And he's at doing first, Batman. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but I feel that the, 
he could bring in just enough of that comedic asshole touch that we need right. to see from a human. I torch. agree with you 100, percent bro. Yeah, I think I agree be, with you 100. I, I would think it would be on point. I think so. Regardless I don't know who would be the thing your height though. because height doesn't matter. I think he could pull it off. You know dude. what I'm saying? Like, I really, I really do. Not to, I'm, we're not teaming up on you. I'm just yeah. being honest. Like yeah, I really, are. Yeah, I can't think are. of no alternative. So, so, pull it off, and dude. And you're like in some weird <laughs> alternate universe over there by yourself, where Zac Efron's not the Human Torch. Yeah, he's a Human Torch in our universe. He's like Yao Ming status. Something I like though, man, when I was doing a little of research about the illuminati though is um this is pretty cool dude this is what the uh creator of the illuminati comics say this is for the comics by the way yeah but this is dope if they implement this kind of later at some point in time if it makes any sense i just want to preface that because we got a lot going on like roger said and i do agree and i would rather see the x-men and fantastic four set up first before i even see this and okay. i would like to see these characters set up respectively like on their own before i see this as well but this is just interesting and i thought it was dope um like the creator on down the line yeah the creator says that each uh, member of the Illuminati, uh, they each represent a certain something that is special to the Marvel universe, such as Namor. He's the king of Atlantis and the seven oceans and represents the anti-hero mindset. Reed Richards is the leader of the Fantastic Four. He represents the science-based part of the superhero community. And then Doctor Strange is the sorcerer supreme of Earth, speaks for the, mis the mystic and uh, non-scientific side of the Marvel Universe. And then Professor X is the leader of the X-Men, and he's there on behalf of the mutant community. So that's it's dope, right? Like there's always some yeah. representative and established. Of what and then we're not going to see uh, Iron Man was also a part of the Illuminati, but we're obviously not going to see that, that yeah. anymore. It could this, easily bring him back in with the multiverse. That's, yeah, that's what leaves a weird it would, window open for Iron they, Man. They would, but it would change a lot, the legacy, But it doesn't man. even have to be... You don't think um, it would ruin the legacy? It doesn't have to be Downey. Though? No, I think... Like, if there's oh, no, smart... No, 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 no. Hey, I know. No, look, no. It has to be no, Downey. They, look, We're gonna I, I think you're looking at the wrong way. This is where we're going. Hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Episode done. Hear me out. Who the fuck Let me finish, because you're you're taking it all the wrong place. Okay, all right, go ahead. It's a multiverse. Still wrong. Right? You have that Downey. That Downey, that Iron Man is Iron Man. That's always going to be Iron Man. But going back to the multiverse, you can bring in... a Look at Spider-Man. Hold on. They're bringing in Toby. They're bringing in Tom Holland. Previous Spider-Man. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, they could, they could. Doesn't mean he had to be a big part. He could pay a little cameo, but they can't just bring him in. So I hear what you're saying. As much as you guys love Downey, I'm like, I can see someone else. He's not. Fuck you, dude, because I was going to defend you right now. I get what he's saying that because it is a multiverse, you can't see different versions of an Iron Man come in and step in. Still though, just like nobody else is gonna be the Wolverine for us. Now I could see someone else easily paying Wolverine. Easily. <laughs> Either you kick him off or I'm fucking walking out. I'm being honest. I'm a big no. X-Men fan. I'm a bigger okay, X-Men fan than you. This is where it gets but, weird. But because... Okay, but what I'm telling you though, no, 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 time out. Like he okay. has a point. No, wait, I, that's, I mean, look, that's his I, opinion, I, I, I whether like... it's invalid or not. You okay. know, that's his opinion. Okay. Yeah. Um, you have yours, and of course, yeah. then I'm right. Uh, <laughs> to me, okay, that's what I should have said. To me. And I love you, Jackman. Okay. As yeah, man. Let me say my piece. <sighs> To me, nobody else is ever going to be a, a Wolverine, at least not to that stature, that level uh, that he brought. Right. That Hugh Jackman brought to Right, right, right. right. Uh, again, no one's ever going to be another Iron Man for me Never. the way Robert Downey. not. Uh, just let me finish. The way Robert Downey played it and to the level that he brought it to. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, I know with certain characters- Which what I said. Do, I know, I know. But that's what I'm saying. I'm agreeing with you to a certain point, but at this point- the characters who have already died off, let them be. Don't bring them back in any kind of way. I agree let with that. Don't no fuck Marvel, up, but don't like, mess no up one what ever they've dies. already done. Especially don't Robert Downey Jr. for me. I just don't, don't want, I don't want another Iron Man, man. Yeah. But what I was going to say, though, is... Um, We're right, you're wrong. Tony Stark represents the Avenger type of hero, one who understands and appreciates that the hero can work with the government rather than outside False. of it. He also represents the common man as he possesses no natural superhuman abilities. I mean, and what's the only other way they're going to have another character in the MC universe that's kind of like that? There really isn't. Hawkeye? He doesn't have any uh, actual special character? abilities. Like, that's what I'm going back. Like, yeah. they're reaching. Black Widow, right? She wasn't Black Widow, special. nah. She she's too in much into the... Really, no. But she's dead. 
Well, yeah, yeah, I know, but She's I'm just dead. saying. I'm never, I still never saw that movie. It's all right. You saw the happiness in this guy's eyes yeah. right there, the little twinkle. She's like, yeah, yeah, funny, dude. Did, man. I don't know, man. The character just didn't resonate with me, dude. I don't know, you know? Scarlett Johansson's hot, though. I don't know, man. Maybe these are all possibilities because Marvel pushed back a lot of their movies' release dates not long ago, and amongst those pushbacks was Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But um, apparently, balls. dude, you're going to like this one. Apparently, there were hush hush test screenings of the film, and those test screenings were met with poor reviews, dude. And it said that Marvel wanted to light, tighten up some loose ends, fix up the story, and provide more cameos that would connect with fans and what comic book fans may expect from something labeled as a multiverse universe. And the reshoots are absolutely extensive, and they will be lasting until after Christmas. Now, on one side, I want to be happy that they're tightening up and they're not just going to put out a shitty product and say, okay, it's Marvel, everybody's going to like it. Or yeah. it's this, everybody's well, going to like it. I was going to so, kind yeah, of say something on that. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, do you think Mar Disney and Marvel is kind of too much with the fans? In a sense that sometimes you kind of do need a little bit. Because I you feel like, like trying to fans, we know what we shit? want and shit. Like, I'm a big Star mm -hmm. Wars fan. And sometimes mm -hmm. when I don't get what I want in Star Wars, I bitch and fucking cry like a motherfucker. I won't but lie. But the Star Wars franchise but lately has been. That, those last and, but movies. Lately, though, the MCU else, so. is kind of leaning towards that way in a lot of shit. You know? The way that you feel? The way I feel. And, um. um and I'm too many movies behind. But I'm right saying, now. are they listening too much to the fans and not kind of just letting shit play out? The way oh, I should. get what you're like, saying. Because when you said, "Oh, um, they're adding more cameos," it's like it's not cameos that make the movie better. It's a good fucking script and a story that makes a good yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Not throwing all these damn characters in there. I gotta say, in my opinion, no, because I think they're also. It's not a hundred percent. I mean, I know they're saying like right there in that in that yeah, that's in that said. rumor that it's for the fans. But it's also a lot of comic accuracy, though. And that's the thing that I'll always argue. Comic accuracy, it's I still, agree with it that. It still depends, though, like you said. It still depends if, they, if it's done right, if the story is right, if they tell it correctly. But, like, all, all these characters, the thing that I love about the MCU and this whole connected universe is that it is kind of comic accurate just in general. Because these characters in the comics, they all exist at the same time together. And then there's also multiple versions, different comics, different iterations. So it does make sense. But... Where I where I do agree with you is that it it has to be done right though, mm. it has to be done right. But I do think it's a big fan service because it's actually comic yeah. accurate. All this shit exists. That's at what the I'm going like, Is it too much? When is too much fan service? You remember I don't when? Know. You remember uh, the time where we would just have to actually go back and read comics and and mm -hmm. think to ourselves like, oh shit, this is why this happened. And right. Connect yeah. the dots yourself. Like oh, when shit, the movie. Remember? Yeah, yeah. When the movie peaked enough interest you would be like uh because that's happened to me a couple times where i've been like oh shit i don't know much about that guy let me go ahead and look back at him but most and people don't do that guy. especially know, kids now generation you know they're doing a damn good this is job, another though. problem I was gonna yeah. make. like all right i feel like marvel has its fans like we're fans you guys are the fans like yeah i feel like if marvel's not careful they're not gonna do no growing they're not going to get new fans I agree coming with that, in, but that's where and I, that that comes into the fan service because yeah, you're going to have fans are all the Marvel heads and you know I'm going to say nerds, I'm a nerd too, yeah, are yeah. going to know every little detail. But the average fan who's not a fan right, yet, who right. might become a fan, right. it might be too much. And for I, us I, for I them get it, to and that's the never-ending conversation of of what a lot of what, what some people exactly what you just said. They're like, man, I want to I want to get into this, but I got to watch like ten yeah, years dude, worth of movies for any of it to make any sense. So I get it. I mean but that's how my, that's how you it's must hard feel for me though, to with yeah. all the movies that you're backed up right I'm now. I'm backed too, up though. right now, and I don't yeah. want to watch uh, Spider Man because that's my the biggest one that I'm looking forward to. But I don't want to watch it until I watch everything else. Just because well, I have to. I just want to watch every. I want to be caught up 100 percent in the way that it's supposed to be. Honestly, if you watch Shang Chi, you're not you're gonna sit right through and watch love, it, bro. It's yeah, a really really good movie. I started it, but then I, I ended up having to leave and I had to go I, do something. I, I didn't get to finish. I watched it. I want to say I watched it a matter of three times. The first time I like I watched it all the way through. But I was like at work, so I wasn't yeah, like yeah. really there. Yeah. The second time, same kind of shit happened. I got a little distracted. The third time that I watched it through, though, I sat through, watched it. Might have had an edible. And uh, <laughs> Did you fall I asleep? Just, I, no, I, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It was a really solid movie. No, I'm hearing, I'm hearing it's a good movie, there's dude. There's certain things like anything else that you, you mm -hmm. can nitpick at and change. But uh, the characters go really well together. Yeah. Um, it doesn't what feel I've seen slow. So far, the pacing seemed good. really cool. Yeah. yeah. What I've seen so far, it seemed really cool. But I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, we could talk about X Men and Fantastic Four all day and shit. I mean, Which there's we so much do. more. We always do. There's yeah. so much more that I always want to talk about. We always say this too because the conversation always runs on so long. But there's going to be a time where we need to get. I need to get you guys on, and we need to have like a full conversation about like X Men, Fantastic Four, casting, who we want, what stories we want to be told, how it wants to be told. You know what I mean? And and shit like that what were you gonna say 
Nothing. I just wanted to talk. Oh. About <laughs> <laughs> we talk about the multiverse and everything, though. We're talking about No Way Home and Spider Man. Did you guys hear what Tom Holland said recently, dude? I don't like this. Well, he has been um, saying yeah multiple I, I think, times, yeah. not just once. He said it a few times, I believe, yeah. in an interview with GQ, which uh, has producer Amy Pascal expressing that she wants Tom for a hundred more Spider Man films. He stated, and I quote: "Maybe it's time for me to move on. Maybe what's best for Spider Man is that they do a Miles Morales film. I have to take Peter and Peter Parker into account as well." because he is an important part of my life. If I'm playing Spider-Man after 30, I've done something wrong. I How disagree. Old is he? I don't know. His real age? I have no idea. He's like 20 20 something. 24, I'm going to say. I'll look it up right now. So I mean, give or take it, before he's 30, average movie takes what? Every two years? Three years, two years? A couple probably? years, yeah. He's going to so be playing So he can feel maybe Three movies, maybe standalone Spider it, movies. Yeah, as of this recording, he's twenty five. Before he's thirty, twenty five. Okay, so give or take maybe five two. years, not nah, so bro. That's one because more they're movie. gonna want him to appear in in multiple movies, not so just his own. We got two movies by the time nah, he's thirty. Look, I disagree, Tom. Because look, man, it doesn't matter if you're thirty. <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah. Let me right. tell you how you should do your acting job, okay, Tom? Uh, <laughs> even though if if he is thirty, Tom is a young looking guy. I don't expect him in five years to age, you know, uh, disgracefully. You know what I'm saying? Is that is that how you say? It, but like he's gonna be he's gonna be drastically fine. drastically yes yeah. um he they're, they're gonna want him well i don't know if they're gonna want him for more solo spider-man films i would assume so but with everything going on dude with venom coming into the mcu morbius there's um, years there's that the, years, apparently years uh, down the line uh, michael he... keaton shooting more vulture stuff so who yeah. knows if that's gonna be for no way home or something else um they're gonna want him for new avengers i would assume i would assume later down the line yeah, way later like, down I've the line because i've always said though that he's another one that could have kind of taken uh the iron man mantle he's already pretty he could, much he's already up. there he could start helping the much... new avengers just, I want to see him interact with the Hulk. I want to see these on screen, uh, these comic things come you know to what? life yeah. on screen. So I, I, I want to see. Hold on. I, I want to see Spider Man jump on the Hulk's shoulder like they do in the comics, dude. Yeah. I want to see Spider Man interact with um, Moon Knight. I want to no, see him interact with back Wolverine. To point. I don't want to see Spider Man become the comic Iron Man. shit. I, I like where he's at right now. I feel like there's you know, more better gonna characters. Say. He's going to have to grow out of that at some but point. He's there's not better be characters. The, the and he, even in the comic forever. book, he's never really had that role. He's always been Until a major. Miles Morales. He's been he a major part. Miles Morales. But he's never been like the main head in like the. I get you. Yeah. Like no, it's no, always either you. been like Professor he's X, been your Captain America, Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. never been like the like the leader of to all, all of show. all of Marvel yeah. type of shit. Yeah. So yeah. like I and then that's also where I though, there's an iteration in the comics where uh, Spider Man joins the Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. What if we saw that come to life? Did he join X Men too? I I don't know. You gotta be a mutant. He's not a mutant technically. No, you don't have to be a mutant to be an X Men. I think you gotta be a mutant. No, that's the whole thing. The X gene. Is it? I thought it was because of Professor X. Well, yeah, but it's because also they have the egg. Isn't it the well, X? Isn't he considered? Mutant gene? <laughs> I mean, he's not a regular human because he's got bit by this. Yeah, but he's technically not a mutant. Well, I guess he's kind of. I mean, you he shoots webs. webs. I mean, I think that would qualify. But a mutant is what you're born with it. A mutant is you're born with it, and it and it and it no. activates at yeah, it's at, it's, at it's uh, uh, like a uh, yeah, mutant. Like yeah. that's what you're born with it. It's, it's in genes. your genes. Yeah. It's in your genes. Okay, okay. Spider Man is technically not a mutant. Yeah. But, I mean, they can inject him with something. But <laughs> he's already been injected with spider semen. Um, I still think that <laughs> I, I really want to see. That was not in my head. <laughs> green, like yeah, yeah, totally yes, makes sense. Spider semen, spider semen. Um, I really want to see him come like comic book thing come to life though dude i want to see these like really cool things man <laughs> <laughs> hey that is a oh damn no we're not gonna do that because we don't do that no, on, no, no. No. yeah also, we're gonna man, let that go uh, kirsten dunce who played mj in the same sam raimi films mm. um when she was asked about uh if she was returning she said and this is interesting man mm. she said quote i'm not in that movie no that and movie. then she was laughing and continued with i know there's rumors right no i'm the only one not in it can't put an old girl in there. Something to take from that is she said, I'm the only one not in it. So we I already mean, know how many people are returning that we've seen in trailers yeah, for sure. Yeah. But there's still speculation somehow on if any other Spider-Men are going to return. It's so obvious that the Spider-Men are returning. I don't know why this is well, a Well, we know that. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. But then there could also be other people because you guys saw at the end of the trailer when Doctor Strange is like, uh, what does he say again? I can't remember the exact words, but he says like, they're, they're coming in and I can't, I, he can't contain it or something. Mm -hmm. And you see the ripples in the sky. Mm -hmm. Man, those ripples are way too big for just two measly Spider-Men to come through. 
Mm-hmm. There's way too much going on in the sky Man, for just two Spider Man cameo. Like, but we also don't know when that's happening, though. No, I know, but I'm saying in though, the film. Yeah, that could be like that could be when late when at all the end, or, or, or that could, could be, be in the early. beginning. Yeah, that could be when all the enemies that we, all the villains that we've already seen in the trailer are mm-hmm. coming in, but they just put that at the end to make us think. You know what I mean? But people are saying, oh, that's when that's when Toby and Andrew come through. But that's there's way too much going on for it, and he can't contain it for just two well, Spider Man. That actually has to happen too. Who else prior is coming? to the big battle with Sandman, Lizard, and everything else? Because Tom Holland's already beat up when that's happening, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe, right? And he's got his mask off and he's beat up, so he's already been through some battles for sure. Mm. So what if it's other people coming through? Who though? Other villains? X Men? Fantastic? Who? Or well, did you? See, who, was it you that sent that TikTok? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> you gotta elaborate. Uh, the TikTok Very where um, they showed the uh, uh, different uh, trailer from um, I, I believe it was Brazil. China oh, from or, Brazil or wherever yeah, the fuck I it was. I posted one on Brazil myself didn't even too. Hide it, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the side project and, podcast. Yeah, I posted one myself. No, but I could yeah. sworn someone said in the chat, and then he gets punched by something. Lizard gets punched. And yeah, you can see yeah. it was kind of like weird though. It was it was kind of weird though because at first you could say that it was Sandman. No, because Sam was behind. I know, I know, yeah. I know, I know. But I'm saying like, like it was like cooked it was like in, the yeah. wind or something. Yeah, but he moves the opposite way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Like, so like, it's definitely it? somebody coming from this side with a punch or a kick. It's obvious that that's one of the other Spider Men, dude. Yeah. It's it's obvious. Who? Who would though? be the thing? Could yeah. be either Andrew or Toby, yeah. obviously. But but I mean, she says I'm the only one not in it. Just further confirming. Cur- uh, Kristen Dunst. Dunst. Kristen Dunst. Yeah. Further confirming what we already know, mm-hmm. that there's a ton of people in this fucking movie, obviously. Mm-hmm. But Which I don't know, man. I hope, I hope, and I've been saying this and I'm going to keep saying it, I hope that them trying to bring in too many doesn't take away from the uh, the movie as a whole and make yeah. it too confusing to where people are like, oh, this Well, that's is- going back to too yeah, much, yeah, yeah. like Marvel setting up too much. I feel like we don't really get no well, proper we have to, sequels we have to, we have to wait to, to see what X-Men they are going to bring in, what this, No, but what I was saying, that, we don't, whatever, because yeah. of that, sometimes we don't get a proper sequel to a movie. Like, look at, for example, No Way Home. There's not going to be a sequel to this. It's pretty much one and done. Probably. Yeah. You know, and sometimes, what if, would it help having two of these movies kind of flush out the story a little bit more? What, and not one and a part so two? Much, or, yeah. yeah. Or make, break it down to two movies. Make this and, movie and like a two. Yeah, and to say if this is his final, like, not his go away or whatever, but like, like solo if this, film, because this like, was something solid like that, it could have been broken up into two because it is a multi like because there is so much that I is think a going lot's gonna on. carry over to Doctor Strange. Well, if you yeah, ask I, me. that's what I was gonna say. I think as it is, but um, I also feel that it could have been set up as a two parter too, though, and it, and it would have been able to flush out a little bit more of the character. I think a lot of like what that. happens in Spider Man is going to be discussed later in Doctor Strange. When is it guys, supposed to come out? Which Spider Man? Yeah, like in a couple weeks. If it doesn't break, or some have shit, come right? Out yet, right? I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. No, we but haven't got our side project exclusive. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> but I think this. I think this movie is going to be fucking crazy and amazing. To be honest with you, I'm just scared really that do. they're fitting too much, cramming into too much it. into. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't think so. Because I think a lot is going to be answered later. Again, I think like again, what to you're point. saying again, is going to happen. Though. I think is what's going to happen. That's the point I just made earlier. Isolated. That's also saying what he was saying. Like I don't want to have to watch this and this. And sometimes I'm just like, I think that's what's going to happen. To a certain point, I get it. We're building a multiverse. But at a certain point, the I'm just I'm kind of, of just going back to average fan. Average fans gonna be like, oh, like I kind of want to. I don't know, man. It's not for the average fans. It is for us, the yes. guys at the Side Project yes. Podcast. And yes. with that being said, ladies Let's get and into gentlemen, this week's cosplay of the week. I didn't take a deep enough breath. I couldn't go anymore. My face is getting red and everything, dude. And this week's cosplay of the week, the one hundredth. Cosplay, cosplay of, of the, the week, week is on Instagram at uni pool cosplay U N I pool cosplay and I'm throwing it up on the screen right about ching 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 now <sighs> and look at this I man like I should have done a, a vision oh yeah and I could I should I should have done what does she do again is it, it's like it's like she does yes. like it's like this or something Why is How that does she? Like, no that's she what you do that's, does, that's, she does like I this, like it yeah. though ladies and gentlemen though uh, a duo cosplay couple from Gillingham Medway in England and it is from WandaVision it is Scarlet Witch and Vision but also Wanda and uh, what, 
fuck is his name? It's still Vision, <laughs> I guess, right? <laughs> but what is he? He calls himself Vision, right? Isn't it yeah, like yeah, he's just, shit. Even when change. he's normal, he's just Vision still. Yeah, they never called him. They never they called him anything else, right? Anything else? Damn it, dude. No, they no, didn't. They just yeah, called him vision. vision. Yeah, no, they called him Vision. Even I remember his, people talking to yeah. him. It's just Vision no matter what. It never changed his name. Okay, um, okay. I was going to look it up. Okay. This is creative as hell, though, dude. This is creative, creative as hell. You got to, if you're, if you're just listening right now, this is one that you literally, you have to look at for this to make sense because it's one half of their bodies, respectively. The woman is, um, like I said, Scarlet Witch, and uh, the man is Vision. And one half of their bodies split right down the middle for the woman she is scarlet witch on one half and then she's the black and white version of wanda from the wanda vision on the other half, on the other half and then the same thing with vision it's it's split in half Man, this is dude, this is I, amazingly the, done dude the, 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 the time. time i know the dude time, bro the time right the time that it it must have taken to do that the dedication to kind of coordinate that to set that and up money yeah yeah yeah, That's yeah. Not, yeah. The, the details this, on this, that is pretty dude, nice yeah this does I, not look like anything like how did you Cheap. do and that's this not exactly, to knock anybody though. else who... Now, it looks who, like they made it can't. themselves. Yeah, but like what I'm but saying, though, like the, the materials made. and shit is like high... It looks high-end. Like it looks no, like I mean, a lot of good like, stuff what is, like, For instance, like, you, you know, you hit up like one, any of these guys that make all the suits. You know what I mean? Anybody. And like they yeah. they make the suit and, and then what, half cut it in half? Make me a twofer? Or did they make the full suit and then they just cut it in half and customize it? You know what I mean? I feel like more of that. They probably... They she or I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they probably customized it themselves. They probably sold it. I mean, well, could that's be. what he was saying, though. He would still at some point need a full suit because these yeah, guys obviously. don't print half suits. They, that's what they most likely did. Yeah. Or did they print a half suit? I mean, we don't know. You know what I mean? I mean, let us know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, uh, how did you guys do this? Like, is it is it like a more like a like a? I mean, Wandavision can't create like a, like a like jacket in a little, sense, right? Yeah. And you put it on, and maybe it clips in the front or clips in the back to make a full suit. Like, how did you guys do this? I'm gonna feel real. Stupid. Forgive us if we're dumb. It's like some really feel easy real thing. Dumb if this was just like a crazy edit. <laughs> Of, I even like the, 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 the no, little. Not, though, no, I know, not, I know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed the little detail they did. Um, I noticed all the they details. Could've easily, I noticed everything. They could have easily. could have easily had him be gray on this side, but he made it gray where they're both when they're touching yeah, each yeah. other, they're both gray. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes, I dig that, dude. So each side, you're right. So it, it, it looks great. I, it this is amazing, yeah. dude. Like I don't even know what else to say. I mean, just going obviously off the vision both suit. Both their gauntlets. Yeah, it's are, amazing. Are amazing. The gauntlets are perfect. The suit is amazing. You can see it's like a co comic accurate. It's a, a I guess it'd be MCU accurate mm -hmm. because this is technically the one from the MCU. But I mean, it's like you can see the designs on it. You know what I mean? Like even it, in his chest plate. Yeah, yeah it looks amazing. Dude. Shoulder into the chest plate right there. The shoes. Awesome. I really dig her shoes and her boots and her pants. Awesomely done, dude. Awesomely done. I'm looking at the belt there. I almost thought for a second there the belt had an X on it. Yeah. I thought maybe yeah. she was just doing a little comic nod. A little you know, play. doing a little X-Men comic nod there. And then she's got the uh Scarlet Witch little uh what would you what call it? Is. It's not technically a mask, it's not technically like a helm, it's, it's not a crown either. It's not like a crown, it's not a tiara, it's like a mixture of what Scarlet Witch wears, you know, in the comics and from the MCU at the end. Uh this is uh, this is phenomenally done, dude. And you know, and then the black and white suits, it's just perfect, dude. Nice nice golf clap here. It's absolutely amazing, man. Like there's there's this is one of the first ones, one of the times How long where I'm stunned. You do your hair though, like everything, took like a just long like, time probably. She had to do both sides differently. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean, she even, dude, it's so it's so dope. Even the hair is black and white. You guys, mm. even the fucking hair is black and white. Like they they did it perfectly, dude. And that would be the what was it the 1950s era. I the black and white, so. right? The 1950s. Yeah, because that was like the whole Rick 50s, Ricardo, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. all that play, stuff. Right? I believe so, right? And then no, it was also um. What was their 1950s era too? Yeah, it was I Love Lucy, huh? Yeah, it was the I Love I Lucy. I Love Lucy thing. was 19... After World War II, yes, so 1950s. 50s, yeah. But I mean, in WandaVision, that's what, it was right. in the 50s, right? Yeah, I think it was the 50s. This is absolutely amazingly done, dude. I don't even know what else to say. It's just so awesomely done. You guys need to go follow at on Instagram, UNI Pool Cosplay, Uni Pool Cosplay on Instagram for their amazing WandaVision cosplay, the black and white, one half, one this, the other side, this, that. It's absolutely dope. Uni Pool Cosplay, your WandaVision cosplay for us is amazing. <sighs> We interrupt this program to bring you... This week's episode is sponsored by Quirk Chat. Let's talk geek. Quirk Chat is a video social network for everything geek fandom commentary. Need a friend for discussing your latest anime topics? Got a theory about what's to come next in the MCU? No matter what it is, Quirk Chat is your place to talk geek. Share anime debates and geek commentary. Record your opinion and add it to the original quip. Download the Quirk Chat app on your app store of choice today and start talking geek.
Man, dude. A hundred episodes, man. I had to make Fucking it crazy, dude. I had to pop up, even yeah, though I was man. like my... And I know, like I've said it a thousand times, it's just uh, I've just been momentarily working two jobs and that's going to change. I'm going to go back to one job. So that's going to be cool. Yeah. Um, that's what might even give me a little bit more liberty to be popping up at, uh, more and more because like, I know you guys like this uh, dynamic duo you see here. Uh, uh, we have like a real stepbrothers vibe kind of going on. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Yeah, dude. Did we just become yeah. podcasters? I had an yes, idea for a merch item actually and it was us in the stepbrothers uh, pose. You know what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. I wanted to do that for a merch idea. I'm definitely, definitely uh will ferrell though <laughs> you ain't will ferrell what? i'm sorry what's, hey, what's his name what's the other one's name i forgot his name right now it's it's um the non-important one that i'm not gonna be it's will ferrell and uh damn it now i got the look oh up. my god what's his name the, we're gonna call this the no look idea. up episode homeboy also played uh in guardians of the galaxy one yes, of the he fucking did. main he was guys also, he's uh, also what's his he's also ralph and wreck it ralph he's the voice of wreck it ralph What's his oh, name, I was dude? hoping like some weird porn shit didn't come up. Uh, John C. John Reilly. C. Reilly. There we go. Go back. John C. Reilly, Del dude. Step Brothers, bake. man. I got to watch Shake that soon. Yes, they're dude. Another, they're another... I just thought about that. They're another Adam Sandler and... and um, uh, home Literally player. almost anybody. You could throw Adam Sandler no, 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 and any no, 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 of no, no. his group of friends I know, together. But there, but you know there's what I mean? A, there's uh, Adam Sandler and... David um, Spade? No, Chris not Rock? Spade, not Chris Rock. Um, um, what's his name? Homeboy that played that animal one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he's also the, you can do it! Yeah, right? you know who I'm talking oh, about. Oh, man, why are we drawing so many blanks on names Rob. here today, dude? Rob, Rob, um, Rob, keep looking for it. Rob. <laughs> oh, man, I somebody's screaming Schneider, at the screen right now. Rob nice. Schneider! Rob Schneider, dude. Yes, yes! yes. That's another yes. Rob Schneider and, yes. and Adam Sandler. Yeah, dude, Rob oh. Schneider, man. I don't know, man. Fucking A, do 100 episodes, man. You I, can I, do I, it. You can do it. I'm not going to get like too sappy because I got sappy on the 200. I mean, the two the two year and the You're already couple jumping other up ones in and a different multiverse and, know, right? and like going know, ahead right? another 100 all those episodes. and all this and that. But, uh, but and man. Hey, hey, man. 200 episodes later, we're still going to yes, be rocking. Dude. This side project yes, is still going to be the project to watch. Hell yes. For all your podcasting news. Hell yes, for man. For all your juice boxness. For but, all your uh, chasasaurics ness. Exactly. As a side project. Hurt my throat on that one, dude. Yeah. Mm. Unlike Mariah Carey, we do our own vocals oh, around shit. here, baby. I mean, my eyes water and everything, man. But thank you guys for tuning in for a hundred episodes, man. And thank you everybody who still can't believe it, dude. Rocking with Chaz, <clears throat> still making it happen, still liking and sharing and yeah, subscribing. Thank you, man. I really appreciate like just the like it's insane. Like I know technically this podcast we cover like mo movies and games and and cosplay and, and pop, pop culture, culture yeah. yeah, and all that kind of stuff. But it's kind of like crazy. I was just thinking to myself and maybe to anybody else, it's not because they would say like, well, that's, that's those are those are things are, you yeah. talk about. But it's just crazy to me, like, dude, to be welcomed in the gaming community, the to be welcomed community. in the cosplay community, and to be welcomed by the movie buffs, like. What the fuck? All the like, photographers out yeah, there, even the, heroes, the photographers, you know, like, like you know what I mean? Because we always give credit to the photographers and everything. Which, which, uh, by the way, the cosplay of the week. I didn't see any information there. Maybe I just overlooked it. Mm. Um, but let let us know if you see the end of who this. Let us know shot. who took the photos. How you? Oh, we said how you made it and all that yeah. stuff. We did say that. But you know, we always give credit to everybody where credit is due. You know, when you when you do editing, when you do photography, when you do anything, and it's just it's just crazy to be welcomed in in several communities. You know, I know it's like we're not the biggest podcast in the world, yeah. but at the same time, it's like we're the biggest podcast in the world and the only one that you should tune into. But it's like it's mm. just nuts to me. I was thinking about it the other day. And I was like, man, because it's been like two weeks since I posted an episode because, and I'll just say a, a little bit, on. I'll just say a little bit here and there. It's like, I had, he, he, we, I was trying to get him on for the hundred. That was, that was, that was the original plan was having him on for the hundred, but scheduling didn't work out. Then I had some guests that were planned as well, but scheduling didn't work out. And it's like everything. And then with the holidays around, you know what I mean? Like everything yeah. would just went all over the place for a minute there. And then, and then I, my insomnia kicked in and I had some fucked up shit going on as well. Mm -hmm. uh, everything's fine though. It's just, it was just my insomnia and, and all that good shit, but, um, not good shit, but, shit but you, know, happened, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and so everything got like turned around and all this stuff and it's just like what was my point <laughs> what the fuck was my point i will say that this, you're appreciative though, that, that, i'm that appreciative, appreciate but I remember my point. um why did i why did i start talking about that though I, about you wanted to bring them in the hundredth episode and that's why you were delaying it and pretty much that's 
Oh no, that my point. Yeah, good. Yeah, you got me back on track. It, this is the hundredth episode. It's been two weeks. Had to delay it by two weeks. And since I delayed it, I had all this other content that was I was throwing up skits. And if anybody's noticed on the Instagram and everything, uh, my bad. Sorry, my nose itches. If you've noticed on the Instagram and everything, I've been doing like graphics differently. I've been doing more reels and like different things and the way things look. I've been. I, I said. I, I said by the hundredth really, episode. I really dig the reels. Thank you. I said by the hundredth episode, I wanted to start revamping stuff. The episodes itself on YouTube, the way things look. I, I want to make changes. And, and this, this gave me the opportunity to sit down and do some more changes and stuff. But what my point was is that it made me realize like I'm posting video game content, not in the form of like sitting here and talking like podcast format. I was doing different things, posting video content, stuff, yeah, yeah. different things here and there. I was posting stuff about movies and I was posting stuff about Cosby still. And like, I was noticing like all the different communities of people. You know what I mean? And I'm like looking at the comments and I'm like, okay, this is like a bunch of gamers. You know what I mean? Oh shit. Like all the cosplayers are commenting this. Uh, the movie buffs are more commenting on this stuff you know what i mean and then even <laughs> cosplayers commenting on game stuff and vice versa and everybody mixing together and that's what made me realize like i know that i talk about all these things i know that we talk about all these things but it just like it's just crazy when you lay it out like and damn dude symboli- all these communities and, and you know that's what really it, you know dope. what it does too though and i think it also symbolizes our growth uh from the beginning i think that we've been able to adapt to different yeah. times and, yes. and kind of work around that and, yes. and obviously now that we're a little bit more established and i say we because it's always going to be we we started yeah. this thing and doesn't matter how many times I'm popping yeah. up or not popping up. Yes, uh, things change, life happens. But yeah. uh, we've been able to adapt to everything really well, and, and seeing our vision kind of come to light, and and everybody kind of still rocking with us and being like, "Hey, don't forget about this, don't forget about that." Yeah. And like, and we do everything, we do everything, and there's so much more yeah. that we try to talk about. It's just that it doesn't always happen. But yeah. uh, I, I, I'm all for continuing to grow. I'm all for continuing to to create new content for you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, having Roger on here with us as well, even though he's kind of like that little, you know, the little side cameo character. Uh, there's me, <laughs> and there, there's there's fucking Chaz, you know, like your relentlessness to not giving up and continuing Thank to you, do the man. podcast Thank too. You. That's like, it's appreciated and appreciated by everybody who watches. And, and we see you guys when you guys say, hey, what happened this week? We love that. We're going to keep bringing heat. We're going to keep bringing episodes. We're going to keep doing all these things. And we're going to be here till it's like 500 episodes. Yeah, You're going to see yeah, us not doing like a Halloween skit, but like we're literally going to be walking yeah. in with walkers. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, man, I want to do this forever, man. I yeah, want. I really, I really sure. dig this. I just want to elevate it and make changes. Um, thank you, Roger, for coming. Also, Roger was and technically our with first. with a lot this episode. Thank <laughs> you, thank you. Roger was technically our first uh, guest ever yeah. when we first mm-hmm. did this episode five he was our first guest uh shout out to jar of retro and my brother for being our second yes. guest collectively the for classic, a christmas episode the classic fucking outhouse, outhouse 3000, 3000. episode the, hey i don't yeah. know what's going on with your shipping mike you gotta figure that shit out i like that's back the yeah, order, man like, three years we've been ago. waiting for that outhouse 3000 man but <laughs> yeah. episode seven don't go back and watch it actually go back just watch that one because that one's yeah. pretty funny but the rest of our episodes don't go back and watch them uh and then i mean who else do we have shout out to unholy peasy from the gta uh, mm-hmm. community from the uh, Unholy Ones clan on uh, GTA and, and stuff. And his podcast now, and too. And his podcast that he's doing, if he's still doing it. I, I don't know if I think it's on hiatus right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to have him on soon as well. I'm going to have a, a flurry of guests on soon. Patrick Hickey um, Jr. Patrick Hickey Jr., thank you for coming on. Going to have him on. Uh, the, he should be on the next episode after this, 101. Episode 101, Gaming I'm going to talk to him memories. about a lot of stuff. Gaming pod. Memories Pod. Cade, right? Thank you. Yeah, Cade, Cade from yeah. Gaming Memories Pod. Thank you for coming on, man. R1 Lifestyle, our first streamer that we had on, had on when Mixer just fucked everybody off. The Celsius yep. sponsor that's not sponsored by Celsius, <laughs> but it's going to be sponsored by Celsius. Shout out Believe to uh, in yourself. Shout bro. out to Dad Can Game, man. Yeah, thank yeah. you for coming on. Uh, Amit Cosplay, like we said, of course. Imposter Cosplay, thank you for coming on. I got him coming on again soon as well. Thank the you. reason the peach emoji was created, Mass Mateo. Mass Mateo, thank you for coming on. Brian, Brian. Bowles, thank you for coming on, man. Thank you, guys. If you guys have not seen that episode, though, some things have uh, actually a lot of things have changed. Episode sixty-eight, Barbara with Mass Mateo and Brian. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of things have changed for that script and that film that Brian is doing, but it's still a great episode. And especially for a lot of people that don't get to see Mass Mateo speak, he talks about a lot of things other than the film that he was a part of. We also got him to talk a little bit about his cosplay, uh, rebirth into an anti-hero. Anti-hero. Uh, thank you for coming on a few times, man. Really appreciate. 
appreciate that. Uh, DPCX, uh, Brian Mike, Patron, yeah. Combat in the Grid. Thank you for coming on, man. And uh, just so many, so many other people, dude. Um, did you say Brian Patron? I could have sworn it was Mike Patron. Mike Patron. If I if I did, you I don't know. Brian, I'll go back. That's what I was like, what? Yeah. If I said if I said what Brian, alternate yeah. universe are you in, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> but I just I, man, thank you everybody, and thank you to all the future guests. I got uh, some people that are going to be coming on soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, some uh, re- reoccurring guests, and uh, like I said, some new people. I don't want to name any names just in case, case because look happen. at what I had planned out. I had yeah. I had planned A, B, C, and D Awful. for the hundredth <laughs> episode, and none of that worked and out. With e. And then it, yeah, I, I guess Roger I guess technically. And me. One of the plans ended up working out, but it just had to be delayed. Yeah. Ended up having you guys on, but yeah. it just had to be delayed. Yeah. But I had so Dr. many plans. Doctor Strange hadn't broken the fucking... <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. I had to wait. But uh, I just... I, I love this shit, man. And I thank you guys so much, dude. Um, thanks, Roger, for coming. Like I said, man, thanks yeah. for hanging out today, dude. Uh, Appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah. And now, now that your schedule's going to change, man, hopefully you can pop by a little bit more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely definitely yeah. going to make my best to do so. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of things that I'm trying to focus on as well. Like, yeah. my own thing's kind of oh, going and, on. And, but... and Craving Pickles on Instagram. Craving Pickles oh, on Instagram. Congrats, our board, dude, congrats. Our board Alex, he was on for the uh, yeah, yeah. the hundred. Uh, no, 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 no. The year anniversary, the first year anniversary he episode that we did. Yeah, Crickets with us. He came on, had a good time as well, and he just had a child. So shout yeah, out to him and his shout girl. Shout out to him and his family. Who just dude. had yeah, yeah, just started a family. Yeah, congrats, man. Um, anything else you want to say before we get out? Uh, no, that's about it. I mean, just continue to follow us. We're gonna keep rocking with you guys. Keep loving you guys. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of lot of things changing. Uh, we're gonna continue to grow. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be the side growing project podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, man. you know. Oh, and the beard. beard's back, dude. Oh, hey, go get the new merch, you guys. The and shout out to everybody. Uh, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys had a, had a good Black Friday, Cyber you Monday stuff. Order, if you got anything you on, the, on the shop. You could order one size up, because we all know, <laughs> after all the ham and turkey and the You're stuff. You're going to need it, yep. Yeah, yeah. You're going to need it. Go get it. and You're going to look um, like Professor Hulk. Just, uh, <laughs> busting and out. check out Zero Cool's uh, pins as well. Everything will be in description and everything that we said earlier. Uh, thank you guys for watching, for liking, for commenting, for sharing, for doing all of those things that you do over on YouTube.com slash Side Project Podcast. When you go down and hit that big red button that says subscribe and it says thank you for 100 episodes. Man, when you like and you review and you do all those things that you do, make sure you hit the like button because it really helps the, Inst- the Instagram. It really helps the YouTube it channel help Instagram out. Too. Thank you guys for listening on Apple, Google, Spotify, and all those things you listen on. You rain your video, you thumbs up, you do all those things you do. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I wonder the day that somebody's going to say, hey, I've watched all 100 episodes and I wrapped yeah, up some I've got sexy a lot points. of project points here, man. I've got a lot of sexy point. project points. Juice! Tell them where they can find you, man. Captain underscore juice box, baby. And... <sighs> Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna do the streaming? Do the streaming? I, 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 it's, it's on a high right. you, got, you got a lot going on. You got a lot, lot going on, so we're not even gonna do it. But we've it, already discussed though yeah. there uh me, Zane, uh yeah. Chaz, uh, Alex uh, plays Halo too, but he, he's just had a kid, so his schedule's all over yeah, the place. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and, Roger and uh, no, not playing. Who who else is somebody else is gonna nah, play with Emmett's this? on Destiny. Yeah, yeah, he's on Destiny. Somebody else is gonna play with this. I don't remember who. Point is, we're gonna start streaming hopefully soon uh, as a group. Yeah, definitely. Um, If you're looking for me, you can find me at IG hates Chazzy on Instagram, and everything else you need to find me on is right here below. You can grab it, you can touch it, you can put it in your mouth. Um, If you're looking for the podcast as a whole, you can find it at Side Project Podcast. And if you're looking for our boy Roger, you can find his personal Instagram at Roger underscore Roger dot ninety nine. Okay, I didn't know it, so I didn't want to say energy was. Oh, <laughs> and if you're looking for his pin company that he just started, please go follow that at zero underscore cool dot fitted on Instagram. Zero. Which is the pins on sale right now. You can yes. get it for 10 bucks, pay no shipping. Wait, is that going to be on sale when this episode comes out though? Yeah, still? it should be not, nah, probably not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. so then disregard that it's not on sale. <laughs> That's Boy, BTS what? footage right there. <laughs> Definitely. Oh man, thank you guys for 100 episodes, man. For the 100th episode, Juice, hit him with some pistols, man! These are stiff pistols. (laughs) (laughs) They haven't been played with in a while.